We're approaching now Chag HaShavuot, the giving of the Ten Commandments and the Torah, and the beginning of our religion, of our Yiddishkeit, Judaism. What makes Judaism as a religion any different to other religions, such as Christianity or Islam? Our teachings are taught based on one individual, Moshe Rabbeinu, from the Torah that he heard on the top of Mount Sinai from God, and he passed it down to his people. Isn't that similar to the scenario and the story of other religions? One individual passing on the Word of God to his people and thereby beginning a new religion. So what makes Judaism any different? The answer is that the Mount Sinai experience wasn't only experienced by Moshe Rabbeinu himself, but in fact the entire people, men, women and children, were there at the foot of Mount Sinai to receive the Torah and to begin our new religion of Judaism. This is a fact that's quoted both by Jewish sources and non-Jewish sources. We were all there to experience it, and that's what makes Judaism different to other religions. Our mystics elaborate on this point to say that not just the people of the time were present, but in fact the Neshama's souls of future generations were there as well, including you and me. So when we stand in Shul and Shavuot and we hear the Ten Commandments, we are not just hearing a tradition passed down by our, our ancestors and earlier generations, but in fact we are rehearing and reliving that same experience that we were part of over 3,000 years ago. That makes the tradition of Judaism and the Torah so much more real, so much more part of our lives and our lives of our children and our children's children who are all there at the foot of Mount Sinai. Chag Sameach.